Tara and Andy's film reviews on ourgamers.co.uk. Hello, everyone. It's me, Andy Baines. And That's it's... Tara Malik. Oh, and we're doing a film review. Get out of here. <laughs> well, you've messed How with the last couple intros. Dare you? But this is an important film. It means a lot to me. I'm so excited to do this film review. And how dare you take the lead? Never mind. It's fine. I'm over it. <laughs> okay so today's lovely film review for you lovely lovely people is the second mamma mia film so mamma mia here we go again or as andy likes to call it mamma, mamma mia. mia they went there again but better <laughs> i didn't write that back oh, oh they did it was better it was oh i better. agree i agree way it was better, better. I mean, if you're a fan of the first one... Spoiler for the review. We prefer this one over the second one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're bound to love this one more, just because it is, it's more down-to-earth as well. Like, it's still got the crazy-ish aspect of Mamma uh, Mia, yes. but it's not on a psychedelic level. Go so, on. the film's classified PG. I'll tell you what, because obviously they've got the, the stage uh, musical of this as well. If they ever do the second, I am there. I am sitting in that, not in the front row, that's too close, but I'll be sitting there in the back row and be like, hey, <laughs> singing along anyway it's an hour and 40, uh, 54 director, minutes director <laughs> no you've skipped the whole section uh, the director is Al Parker starring in this film Lily James Amanda Seyfried Meryl Streep Cher you've got quite a few returning cast and new cast it's all good I was not excited when I saw Cher in the trailer <laughs> you were not no <laughs> I thought it was going to be good. I was like, oh, they're going to get her vocals to sing some other songs. I'm ready for it. I was waiting. I was like, when she finally turned up, I'm like, sing. And she didn't sing straight away. So I was like, don't tell me they lied to me in the trailer and she's not going to sing. So I was like, how can you bring Cher into this and not have her sing? Anyway, <laughs> we're having a moment here. The genre, comedy, musical, the running time, as you stated, I hope correctly, an hour and 54 minutes. I don't know how you can get that wrong. What's it about? Well, five years after the events of Mamma Mia, Sophie prepares for the grand reopening of the Hotel Belladonna as she learns more about her mother's past. Ba-da-da-da. Exactly. So, story. Fantastic. I enjoyed it far more than the first. Great story. I loved it. I agree with that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I've, I made the same notes and I said the same stuff as well. It's definitely, as you say, it's more down to earth, a bit yeah. more grounded. Yeah. But still enjoyable. It's still got the energy, but it's it's better it's more it's not as silly cheesy oh no as the first like there's bits in the first and it's just like why like why it just didn't work for me it's still it's a good one like Mamma Mia is good don't get me wrong but it just I felt like it was just let down a bit by certain things this is an okay film to go out to see and I definitely recommend seeing the first one beforehand. Oh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You will yeah. definitely appreciate the second one more after yes, seeing the first you, one. Yeah, you need... Yeah, I would say definitely see the first one. They did some good jobs of linking it back and forth. This is more. obviously the prequel to it, so it's more serious. It's more proper story. It's meaningful, but still with that flair and that style. Just, I think, a better balance this time with... Even the musical aspect of it. Like, I don't know, it was... It worked better. I, I can't explain what it is, but I just feel like as a whole, as a musical, oh, it agree. just it worked just, a lot better. It was just a bit grounded. The songs really did match everything this more, time. Yeah. yeah, exactly. They made a bit more effort with this one. So, and I'm a musical fan. Like, I do love my musicals, so don't get me wrong. Super enjoy- enjoyable. Beautifully done. Now, there are some people, I've spoken to some, and people probably think okay this is a prequel so you'll get the setup at the start where it's the current day and then it will go back in time and the whole film will pretty much be back in the past it's not like that it is back and forth because there's still a lot of current stuff in the current day that's important and the relation of it all so if you're the kind of person who would prefer it to all be set in the past just be prepared that it's not like that it yeah, is I, a back i wouldn't class this as a prequel as such it, does, a, it is based well you learn well yeah you're learning about the past. You're learning about um, Donna, young Donna. Oh, I, I love the girl. Lily James is just amazing. She's so perfect for it. Uh, that's not even in casting characters yet, but I love her. Hmm. And her voice is just amazing. But anyway. Um, but yeah, it is because it, it's always like relating to Amanda's character. So Sophie, obviously. So it's, it is a back and forth thing. So just be ready for it and don't hate it. <laughs> because there was someone who just really wasn't happy and, and I was like why and it's like because it wasn't all in the past and I'm like Ugh. I'm curious who that just was go. just go just go it wasn't my mum before you think it was my mum it wasn't my mum <laughs> that might have been my first assumption <laughs> I know I thought I'd make that clear because she actually my mum actually really loved it we went and saw it twice that's how much we loved it so yeah I'm sorry I've gone again without you uh, 
but it was a friend of hers who didn't and oh, i was like enough. just go away uh, it's fair. a it's a really i'm not there yet it's a really 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 feel good film and at the same time it's emotional as well the first one it's so silly and chaotic i'll agree with that you can't really feel for any characters yeah i'll agree with that and here, oh my god, even the second time I was welling up and I was trying to hide it from my mum because I don't know how she'd react if I start crying in the cinema. You go. I know. So I was like, just hide it, just hide it. But then there were there was a row of women in front of me when I went to see it with my mum and I could hear the sniffing from all of them. They oh, were I all, heard sniffing. Oh, when you were there yeah, as well? Yeah. There, yeah. So when we, yeah, there was sniffing. Yeah, I was trying to hide it from you as well because I really didn't want you to be like, tissue, like, go away. I'm having an emotional moment here. <laughs> <laughs> just let me be. Let me be like a mess of tears right now. I've got to let it out. No it's one cathartic. Wants to see that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dark room. It's fine. By the time the credits go up. Oh, that reminds me. I don't know if I have a random for that. There is a post credit scene. <gasps> it is actually worth seeing. Is it regarding the goat? There's no goat. What are you talking about? Well, there is a goat, but there's. what are you talking about? Yeah, there was an, un- an unfinished goat story from the first film, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> no, you saw the post credit scene. Do you not remember it? No. Oh, don't. it's funny. It's so funny. So do stick around for it. Even the second time we went to watch it, me and my mum, we stuck around for it because it is funny. That's all I got for story. I'm trying to slow down a bit here because I got so excited. <laughs> soundtrack. Well, obviously, it's a great soundtrack. I love it. You've Abba. literally just read the first line on my soundtrack note. Oh, did you? You, yeah. you got it, obviously. You got obviously as well. There you go. Obviously, a great soundtrack. <gasps> no way. Yeah, Jeez. Same line. Oh, my gosh. From the start, as expected. Oh, I love it. I did make I a note love that it. possibly too long slash slow song scenes sometimes. Uh, they, some possibly. of them did seem to drag on a little bit. There the are... pacing wasn't perfect through this film. I'm trying to think what films you're talking about. I loved it. Mamma Mia. The second one. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, hold on. What films might you... There were. I think there were a couple of new ones in there. Do you mean what songs am I talking about? Yeah. I can't remember. You said films. Let's go. Oh, sorry. What songs? I'm trying to think what, what songs you're talking about. But um, no, I, I disagree with you completely and strongly on that one. I think everything... That's right, you're allowed to. No, that's fine. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it. Um, <laughs> I respect your opinion. However, it's wrong. And <laughs> um, no, I think it was all spaced out quite nicely. And some of it was quite short. Well, you'd want a bit more of the song and it wasn't there. But anyway. I was just thinking, I'm the one that edits this. I might change it. To say, <laughs> I, I, your opinion. I like it. I don't like that. No, it's going to sound really robotic because it won't be flowing. <laughs> okay. Uh, cast. Oh, unless you've got anything else to add to your no, no, yeah. inappropriate <laughs> point. Cast about and the characters. Soundtrack. Not all of them are great singers, as we know from the first one. You know, some of them just are a bit tone deaf. I am so going to slap you with my but, iPad in a second. But. I don't know what film you went to see. <laughs> <laughs> glad i didn't take you a second time <laughs> <laughs> sorry say your piece no. <laughs> so, he's throwing his name I'm done. love the cast spot on brilliant to see young donna's story they were all brilliant to be honest vocals were a lot stronger compared to the first which is better you can enjoy the songs more are you tone deaf mr bangs i'll agree with that <laughs> I'll agree it was better than the first one. Yeah, the vocals were a lot stronger. Definitely. Yeah, a lot stronger. Who? I'm trying to remember now. I'm trying to think who you said couldn't sing. They they specifically picked people who could sing this time. That's uh, the thing. Maybe I'm still thinking of that, they specifically, the bad... I don't know. Yeah, it was. Pierce Brosnan. Well, maybe you're bad thinking of like the, first film. the end scene where the credits start rolling because it's the one where they're just all having fun and you've got the young and the old all mixed maybe. in. Obviously, also, they can't sing. Before I threw my notes away, I do have another one that is that the Thank younger cast were perfectly oh, cast. Oh my gosh, they were. They were spot Even on. Even my mum said ca- that. Acting and the looking looks, and everything. Yeah. They, they were fine. Yeah. They were spot on. And well the younger done. version of what this of the older actors that we know. Apparently, they obviously did a lot of like research and stuff to make sure they get it good, but. Mm. They really did. Yep. They really did. And they're all lovable in yeah, their own way. Yeah, hats off to the casting on that. And awkward. A certain someone, younger character, was so awkward. <laughs> I think you know who I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Although he's pretty awkward in real life as well. And he's in um, the <laughs> yeah, adult version as well. So. I know, right? Oh, I can't even <laughs> So, I, I know. And I think... Don't change, though. We no, like don't. Please don't. Yeah. Just, just carry on. It's amazing. <laughs> so, that is that. Yeah. And I've enjoyed it. I think fantastic. I really love it. I'm like an eight, maybe even a nine, to be honest, for this film. Well, I'm on a seven, eight. Okay. So the rating has got a 7.2. I'm a little bit yeah. surprised. It's probably people like you who think that it, they can't sing. Well, no. Number one, ABBA <laughs> musicals and stories like There's this someone we spoke aren't to. for everyone. Yeah, exactly. There's someone we spoke to. I, For me, I'm like, how can you not love ABBA? That's just me. I'm, I'm like, I grew up with it. 
I think everyone kind of grows up with it. How can you not know? I and know love that Abba? song, Want the Loo. I mean, everyone knows that one. <laughs> I want the loo. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then we did speak to someone who's probably not too much younger than myself, and he was just fully against Abba. And I was like, oh gosh, how can you? Okay, don't go see this film. This is not going to be you then, because the film is full of Abba. <laughs> so. Is yeah. it the same guy that wasn't too excited to see Alpha? Yep. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that was a good guess. Yeah. <laughs> So, What's you know who so you are. 7.2, you say? 7.2, And you're doing it's at least low. an 8, maybe 9. Yeah, and I'm doing I'm at least a 7, there. maybe an 8. I think that's... It's fine. a fair thing, yeah. yeah. It's a fair thing to say. I'm expecting you to say that sort of rating anyway. I did expect me to go a bit higher than you. Any, just because, like, I'm a lover of this sort of stuff. You know, this is... Oh, I also enjoy right it. Right out my alley, pardon. I also enjoy it. Oh, I know you do. In your own way. <laughs> <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs> Thank you so much, and we'll be around real soon for you again. Bye. Thanks to Cineworld Festival Leisure Park Basildon for the best experience around.